Welcome back to the show, everybody. James Rule XRP. I tell you what, it's been a busy Monday. A lot of news coming out. We're getting some news about F assets on the Flare Network. And also today, today we have the opportunity to do a test net run on Costin 2. And I'm going to show you it's Kinetic Markets and Scepter. We're going to look at it before we look at F assets. But before I get started, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto teacher. I like to give you all the cool stuff that's coming up, all the test nets, all the things that get me excited. I want to share it with the world. And today I'm excited. You know, it was a hard day at work. I sweated my butt off and I, I went in this morning, just like many of you do on a Monday morning and go, do I really have to do this today? <laughs> But yeah, we're doing it and work is temporary. All the bosses know work is temporary. So let's go ahead and get into it. Follow me on X at Rural XRP. Now here is an article I reposted. And the reason I reposted it is because the kinetic test net is up and running on cost and two. I was able to stake, supply, and borrow. Kinetic markets plus scepter equals fire. And of note, whenever you connect to dev.kinetic.market and try to attach your wallet, I use MetaMask. If you do not have the cost and two configuration set up on MetaMask, you're going to get an error. So let's take a look at the dashboard. This is a screenshot. I was able to supply S Flare USDT and I was able to borrow. Now, this is all tests. This is not real funds, but it works just as if it were the real thing. You get to play around. There's a token faucet that will give you tokens to play around with. I already had a ton of uh, C2 Flare from the last test net and I went ahead and used it and uh, converted it over to S Flare. Um, there is a tutorial video and I will leave a link to it. It goes into detail of the flare. We currently I'm just kind of scanning through it because it's an 11 minute video and it goes through step by step by step on how to test it out. And that's what it's all about. And I'm really excited. Now also here is, I'm going to leave a link to this below as well. Uh, the cost into test net settings for MetaMask. And what you do, you're going to go in, you're going to add a network, you're going to add, I call it cost in two. You're going to have to put the RPC URL, the chain ID, the currency symbol, and the block explorer information in. If you've never done it before, take your time. Okay, let's go and get into it. Now, I've been talking about Flare. I've been talking about Songbird. I've been talking about allocating to the Flare Time Series Oracles. I've been talking about Flare Drops every month. And everybody's like, yeah, really? So, well, it's a big deal. It's a big deal because F assets are coming to the Flare Network. And basically what this means is that there are networks out there, cryptocurrencies, that do not have smart contracts. And what they could be, what you could do is convert XRP over to Flare XRP for smart contracts and earn Flare. You can take Bitcoin and convert it over to Flare Bitcoin and get Flare. <laughs> or Doge or Mint Ethereum or whatever. Many other tokens are going to be able to use smart contracts on the Flare network by integrating them into the ecosystem. And we're going to look at that. Now, currently Flare, FLR, is 2.8 cents a token. Uh, if we look here, total market caps, $1.1 billion. Uh, billion. Uh, the all-time high was 5.4 cents. Current volume in 24 hours is 18,055,000. Circulating supply is 40 billion, and there are a total of 101 billion flare. Check it out. Flare drops. I always talk about flare drops, and this is the guide that talks about the flare drop you receive every month. And you receive a flare drop based on how many wrapped flare you have you're holding in your wallet. Now, currently, there have been a total of 
uh, 15 so far, 15 flare drops. The next one's going to be on June the 9th, 2024. It's coming up. And the last one is going to be on January the 30th, 2026. So if you're just now getting into it, if you don't know what flare is, if you don't know what the Bifrost wallet is, if you don't know what FTSOs are, scroll through my videos and I do have tutorial videos on how to set things up. Send me an instant message on X or Twitter and I'll be happy to guide you through it. Now, I use the Bifrost wallet. It can be found at the App Store or Google Play, Android or Apple. And this is a perfect wallet to stake your Flare, to wrap your Flare, to allocate to the Time Series Oracles, to get Flare drops every month. Flawless. I've been doing it for the past 15 months, and I haven't had any issues. Now, Flare FTSOs or Time Series Oracles, these are votes, all these different organizations are tied into flare network and they have vote power they have different reward rates i actually contribute to flare oracle there's by frost what there's many 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 in here just go in look make your own decisions of what you want to allocate to to help the voting out now this is songbird songbird has jumped up 15.4 15.14% today because there's a lot of news coming out that the F assets are going to be used on Songbird or the Canary Network before it goes live on the Flare Network. So there's opportunities, a penny, a token, not financial advice, two and a half cents for Flare, 1.1 pennies for Songbird. There's opportunities. Do your research. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Flare Networks got this out yesterday, June the 2nd, 9 a.m. We're not fans of announcements of announcements, but F Assets is or something special. Updates coming next week. And I did Rick Flair. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's look at an article. Alpha Oracle at Alpha Oracle One, a signal provider to the Flare Network, delivering data to the decentralized, breaks down F assets on Flare Networks. And we're going to cover it real quick. The F asset system, I'm going to leave a link to everything below. I know it's a lot to comprehend, but I've been studying this for a pretty good while now, and I'm super excited about the Flare Network, about F assets, about all the above. Smart contracts for everyone. An F asset is a representation of an asset from another blockchain on the Flare network. For example, XRP becomes F XRP. The Flare network's native token is Spark or Flare. F assets can give smart contract capabilities to any supported crypto. Minting is processing of converting your crypto onto Flare networks as an F asset. Agents facilitate the minting and redemption process, and you can earn rewards in Flare just by holding an F asset. Because holding an F asset, you're providing liquidity to the Flare network of that particular asset, whether it be FXRP, FXLM, F Litecoin, F Doge, F Bitcoin, whatever. Any one of the key components of the Flare networks are F assets. While Flare is the native token, you can bring any supported cryptos onto the network to utilize as well. This unlocks smart contracts for the assets you own, essentially bringing utility to non-smart contract crypto. This allows users to participate in DeFi, decentralized finance, and other network applications with their existing crypto on the next generation blockchain. F asset minting and redemption request goes through the state connector. There's a lot to comprehend though, and I'm not going to get into detail because there's so much out there that you need to read, you need to understand, and there's several sources that I'm going to show you where you can do your own homework. You're also going to receive flair by holding these F assets. Get excited, people. Now, this is Flare's documentation, docs.flare.network, and it goes into a little more detail of F assets. It gets techy technical. It talks about agents, users, collateral providers, liquidators, challengers, all the above. 
and I'm not going to go over it. I'm going to let you go over it by clicking below. Now, the best article I have found that explains Flair's Flare Network's journey to FSS is by this individual here, and I'm not going to butcher his first name. I'm going to call him Andrew. Andrew Makowiak. Uh, he is at Focus underscore Kermit. He is at Focus TSO, Infrastructure Provider on Flare Networks, Focus on Flare.io. He's a validator, FTSO, NFTs and education, and yes, he has educated the public on what these FSs are about. I'm not going to go through it all, but I'm going to show you that the it talks about the intro, the Flare Network, how they're building, how the FSs, the FS ecosystem. It goes through the process, going from the uh, primary token to the F token, the components of the F asset system decentralized prices i mean the state connector trustless event attestation the demonstration layer cake cross network composability and it gets really technical but i've read all this in detail and it goes through all of the elements of how the f assets are created how the rewards are delegated and it's just so exciting i mean there, there's so much to comprehend here and, and I can go on and on and on, but I'm not. So of course I accidentally quit or stopped my recorder <laughs> for this video. It happens to the best of us, but yeah, an, an amazing article from Andrew. Uh, I want to thank him again for supplying all this information about F assets. And I'm really excited. I know I didn't cover a lot of things in detail, uh, make sure you follow Kinetic Markets at Kinetic underscore Markets and also Scepter at Scepter, S-C-E-P-T-R-E-L-S for the liquid staking. And here is a look at dev.kinetic.market. As you can see, I have supplied S-Flare USDT. I have borrowed Ethereum against it. And these are all test net tokens. They're not real money. It shows you my total supplied 422 bucks. My total borrowed $73. Staking annual percentage yield is 22.25%. So, and if I click on my MetaMask wallet, I'm connected to the Costin2 test net. You can see I have some C2 Flare, WC2 Flare, ETH, the Jewel token, which is going to be on Kinetic Markets, uh, SAVAX, USDT, and Key, which is going to be on Kinetic Markets. Stay tuned, everybody. A lot of good things coming down the pipe. Make sure you subscribe to the James Rule Crypto Show. I'll keep updating you on new things as they transpire. Get excited. And don't forget, my name is James Rule XRP. I want everybody to have a great week. Why? Because I told you so.